Hi guys, it's Eric Cressy. Today we're going to talk to you a little bit about why the elbows tuck bench press is a little bit more shoulder friendly than one with the elbows flared. So in order to kind of understand why this is the case, we're going to talk a little bit about scapular humor rhythm. So how your shoulder blade interacts with your arm. Tim's going to help me demo this. We're actually going to look at it from the back angle. And what we realize about how the shoulder works is when the arm goes to about 30 degrees of elevation, the shoulder blade doesn't really have to do a whole lot of anything. Okay. Once you get past about that 30 degree mark, and it depends on which study you read, but for the most part everybody agrees that it's about a 2 to 1 ratio of 2 degrees of arm movement requires 1 degree of scapular upward rotation. So down here in that 30 degree or so position, I don't need any scapular movement, whereas once I get up to about 90 degrees, I probably need about 30 degrees of upward rotation of that shoulder blade to accommodate this. So when we head over to the bench here, Tim's going to demonstrate for us first what an elbows tuck position looks like. And everybody's going to be a little bit different based on how wide their grip is and all that stuff. But if we zoom right in and we show that bottom position on the elbows tucked bench press. So in the most vulnerable position, if he goes all the way down to his chest, what you'll realize is he's probably about a 30 to 40 degree angle for the most part between his elbows and his torso. Okay. So we'll have him come back up to the top of the rep. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to block him and not allow him to tuck quite as much. I'm going to let his elbows flare out, make it kind of your classic pec dominant exercise. And what we realize is he's up around 80 to even 90 degrees. Um, I'd say that's even a little bit higher, so probably about 80 degrees. So it requires a lot more scapular upward rotation in order to get up to a position. So effectively what we talk about is wherever the arm goes, the shoulder blade goes. Wherever the shoulder blade goes, the arm goes. So if you're coming further up with your arms, it means your shoulder blades, your scaps, are actually rotated up more, which makes it a lot harder to get them tucked underneath you to create this kind of rigid base from which you want to press. So what we do know is that getting those down and in can actually create a much better platform from which you can press. So if you've got a history of shoulder problems or you're trying to avoid them, you're generally going to be a lot better off with those elbows tucked. If you are going to do stuff with the elbows flared, limit your volume and make sure that you've got plenty of upper back stability to kind of fight against those bad positions it forces you into.